G'day everybody, where's Wally here? I've been literally waiting months to make this video. I've been watching the Himawari 8 and um, the outback of North Queensland as the floodwaters from the middle of uh, February are making their way down in towards Lake Eyre. It was a huge flood and uh, let's just have a really close up look and see if we can see the water as it's moving through the river systems as captured by Himawari 8. The greening of the land can be seen over the next few weeks as um, the dry Australian countryside got a good drinking and away the grasses went. So just as the, uh, the clouds peeled away and revealed the floods water underneath in this sparsely populated countryside, um, then you can see that the water is flowing down the two river systems, the Georgina and the Diamantina River, way out in the outback of Queensland. Birdsville is a town out in the middle of um, outback Queensland and it's about 800 kilometres south of where the rains fell and they had what they call a dry flood. There was no rain yet floods everywhere. The Warburton River flows straight into Lake Eyre and none of this water that I've been showing you as it's coming down these two or three or four river systems is ever going to make it to the ocean because Lake Eyre is 16 metres below sea level and Interestingly, just as that first flush of water enters Lake Eyre, there is a second flood coming up along behind it, if you look back up the top there. Well, this pilot guy that I know sent me a photo or two, and that just happened to be of Lake Eyre on the 22nd of May, which is right when I was finishing this up. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, wait, yes it does, because then he sent me a video. Cool, mate, thanks. I won't, let, won't say who it is, though, but let's just protect his identity. And just looking at this really close up from the Himawari 8, you can actually see that the, um, the clouds and the water and everything all line up with this um, anonymous pilot view that I've just shown you. So anyway, if you want to leave a guess at who it might be in the comments, feel free. Well, that just about wraps it up, except for the Discover images. I have to add those, otherwise Wade would never have forgiven me. So let's have a look at those and look how beautifully these ones match up. First ones are from the 9th, I think, when the... Um, the clouds were still in place and yeah they look exactly the same and then a couple of days later as it all peeled away early in the morning and look at the you can see the water up there in the gulf country in both images so cool okay guys time for the scorecard now on the Himawari 8 we were able to see there was flooding that could have been seen without notice as the clouds just disappeared overnight then we saw that there were areas that greened up really fast after the rain who would have predicted that then we saw that there was a water was flowing down the inland rivers. That was just beautiful to see. I've been waiting ages to see that. <clears throat> then we saw that Lake Eyre had been filling up, and that was a beautiful sight to see. And we even had Lake Eyre seen as full as verified by some random pilot guy. And then when I did the um, Himawari 8 and Discover Images comparison, they matched up just beautifully. So if anyone wants to tell you the Himawari 8 and and indeed some of the other cameras from space are somehow manufactured CGI. Nah guys, no, absolutely no way at all. Thanks.